All right. Hey, we're going to be doing a little video about our experience at Tactical Response. We're on our way to Camden, Tennessee uh, to take a fighting rifle course with James Yeager. And I'm also with my buddy Josh here. He's doing the driving right now. Uh, it's a nice long drive, but we thought we'd take a little bit of time to talk about what we uh, expect from this course. Uh, we do have a little experience with tactical response. Earlier uh, in the summer, we actually took a fighting pistol course and we had a great time with that. So we just kind of want to talk about what we expect from uh, the upcoming course, uh, what our thoughts of the last course that we did, and talk a little bit about what the gear that we're going to use for uh, tactical response's uh, fighting rifle course. So I'll let Josh uh, start off with uh, some thoughts on the last experience we had doing the f uh, fighting pistol course. That was some great training. Um, I spent I spent the last uh, six years in the Marine Corps, and I really wish we'd had some of this pistol training for some of the stuff that I've done. I spent the last three years overseas, and it was it was good training we got. But and there was two other Marines there with me doing training as well, and we all agreed that the training we got there, just the basic fighting pistol, was far better than anything that we could receive in the military. So that, that, that's pretty good. All right, and that's probably something I should have mentioned. Uh, Josh actually has some military training. As he said, he was a Marine for the past about six years, uh, whereas I, I'm just more of, I've always been a civilian, and uh, our gun experiences have been a little different. He's been more into the tactical and modern weapons, whereas I'm more into collecting historical firearms, but I do have a few modern weapons I like to train with. So you'll get a few different perspectives on this training uh, because of the different backgrounds that we have. Uh, now, my experience... Uh, from the last uh, train course, uh, it kind of was more focused on concealed carry, which uh, that was something we really wanted to get a lot more training in. And I, me personally, I really enjoyed it. It really put a new light on the idea for concealed carry because there's so, there's some things they discussed in the course that I had never even thought about. I'd had my concealed carry for about three or four years, something like that. And some of the stuff that we covered in the class, some of the stuff he talked about, some of the training we actually did is stuff that I never uh, thought about. And I'm not going to go to too much detail, uh, but I highly recommend the course if you're a concealed carry person. Uh, I highly recommend it. It will make you a lot more comfortable concealed carrying and a lot more uh, sure of yourself uh, when you're concealed carrying. Uh, now the gear that I'm going to be using for the the fighter rifle course. Uh, I have a DPMS AR-15 with a Russian optic on it, and I'm not going to go into too great detail on it. Uh, we may do a video later down the road discuss with more detailed uh, discussion of the stuff that we're going to be using. Now, with the course, you also are told to bring a pistol, and as of right now, I don't have a full size pistol in my arsenal, but I do have a Smith & Wesson shield that I use for the concealed carry. So I decided I was going to bring that and use that for this training as well. It worked really great for the concealed carry training, so I think it'll do great with this as well. And uh, Josh has got a few tactical vests and stuff like that for me to use along with that. And for the course, they actually recommend that you bring obviously an AR-15, some sort of a semi-automatic rifle. It doesn't have to be an AR-15. It could be a, a pistol caliber caliber rifle or anything like that, uh, but some sort of uh, rifle, and then they want you to bring a pistol as well. So you need both, and they recommend around 1,500 rounds for your uh, rifle, and then around 250 rounds for the pistol, okay? And that's going to be my setup that I'm going to be running, and Josh has got a few more advanced items, and he's going to discuss it now. So I'll be running uh, two different rifles. Um, the first one I've got is my first F-15 ever bought, which is an old Rocket River Arms Air 15 I left it pretty stock. I just put a, a Hollow Sun Red Dot and an American Defense mount, and I've got a uh, Burr's Tripler 3X magnifier behind that with a Magpul flip-up sight. And I also use an Impact Weapons uh, mount to, lock, to uh, mount a LZ of flashlight on the front. And also used an impact weapons uh, mount on the back stock to mount a uh, Echo 93 sling on there. So they, they make some good sling. I'm going to test those out. I've never used that sling before in a class. We're also going to see how well the impact weapons mount holds up. We're going to see if they, if they work closer than they did. But a uh, high tip lock tight on there. So it should hold up strong. And my second rifle is one I built myself. I'm going to run that the first day. See if it holds up well. I did have some trouble with the first 
first build I did. So we'll see if I got ironed up all this stuff. What I used was a aerial defense over and lower with a CMG uh, parks kit to build it. And a Bravo company and barrel and a uh, Troy Industries uh, health rail and a Troy uh, sites and a Buddy Hancock. say the AR he built is awesome. He acquired several parts while he was in the service and then he came home. Uh, I didn't acquire it. That makes it sound like I stole it from the Marine Corps. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, he uh, did not. He I, purchased them legally and shipped them home and then when he came home he put it together. Yes, yeah, so I might want to clarify spent, that. I spent about three years uh, finding different parts. Some of the stuff I got on sale. So I, I spent three years looking for the best that I could get and then I put it together. Like I said, it wasn't it was the first time I built one so did have some trouble, but I think I've got everything ironed out. We'll find out tomorrow if I, ever, if I got everything ironed out and it's work running fine. All right, so now uh, we're going to discuss what we expect from this course. So I'm going to let Josh start with this one. What do I expect from this course? It will be uh, running a rifle. It's a lot different than running a pistol. You've got more, obviously, things going on. You've got the sling. You, when you're running on the sling, it can get fun. Like, I mean, for me, for going out. For me, I have very little training with my AR. I have shot some, and as Josh said, we've gone out shooting. He's done a little running and gunning with me, and did a little training with with me. And uh, I've probably logged about 500 rounds through my AR. Uh, now, given a lot, that was probably just sighting in the rifle. It wasn't uh, necessarily uh, target practice or anything like that. A lot of it was just getting used to the rifle. Um, I still feel not super comfortable with the R15. I'm hoping with this course I will and I'm really excited. Now Josh let me ask you a question. Now with your military experience do you think that this course would be you would recommend this for uh, other mil ex-military uh, members? Based off I so absolutely. Like I said there was not just myself there was two other Marines who got on the service and went through the course and all of us agreed that much all we had to discuss in this first video now we are planning on doing another video uh either after the first day it's a two-day course 
um, and we're planning on either doing a video after the first day or after the second day, I'm not sure quite yet, uh, but we'll give you a more detailed uh, afterthoughts of how, what we thought of the course, uh, what we recommend it, and uh, maybe even discuss a little bit about what we learned. Uh, and we'll probably even discuss stuff like uh, what we would bring differently if uh, we are going to do the course again. And uh, we're really looking forward to this course. Now, at this time, we have a hurricane that's coming, making its way up. It's probably right over Florida right now. And uh, by Tuesday, the second day of training, we might get rained on the entire time. And as they recommend the course, you shoot rain or shine. So we're expecting to get a nice rain and to get some training in the rain, which I have never done before. Have you ever trained in the rain before, Josh? Plenty of times. So it's hard to say what, what we can expect from this course, but we're looking forward to it. So, uh, yeah, we're excited for it. Any last thoughts, Josh? If it ain't raining, we ain't training. I like it. All right. See you later.